and welcome. My name is Kel. I am a customer advocate for Life Plan. Today we're going to be talking about how to pick your forecast starting date and we'll kind of go over some of the most frequently asked questions about the forecast starting date in general. Read the question yeah, like, and then the question both. Okay. Okay. Reboot. Boop. <laughs> what should I consider when choosing my starting date for the forecast? The few things to really keep in mind when choosing your starting date would be the year cycle that your business is on and when you expect to see financial activity in your business. For example, if you are forecasting for a startup, you'll want to select a starting date that will allow you to be on the right year cycle moving forward. So if you follow the calendar year, you'll want to leave your forecast starting in January. And then you'll want to make sure that you set the year that that starts in back far enough that you can see your initial startup expenses and funding and all those things that happen in the business finances prior to opening the business doors and starting to bring in revenue. Um, for existing businesses, this is just kind of um, more along the lines of you'll want to pick the beginning of your most recent kind of calendar or fiscal year. Um, so that way you can show kind of the activity that you have up until the current timeline and then project forward from there. Thumbs up. Yep. All right, next question is how can I expand my forecast timeline? So let's say that you have forecast for three years um, and now you are working with a new investor who's looking for a forecast of five years. If you need to change that, that's something you can do at any time by going into the options menu in the left sidebar. And from there you can change uh, whether your forecast is three years or five years. And you can also dial in how many years of your forecast you would like to see in monthly detail. So what are the two methods for changing my start date in life plan? We have a new feature. Oh. <laughs> when you're in the options menu and you're going to change your forecast starting date, you'll see that there are kind of two methods for changing the starting date. You can either select to move the values with the starting date, so this means that if your forecast starting date is January 2024 and you have data entered in January 2024, then you need to bump the forecast starting date to January 2025. Moving the values with the start date will just keep that data in the same spot and just change the year that it's in. The other method for changing your start date is keeping values in the same actual months. What this will allow you to do, which is really handy if you are an existing business, is to kind of move through your forecast in real time and be able to continue your projections at the end of your forecast moving through your business. So keeping values in the same actual months, going back to the January example, if you have data in January 2024, and let's say you've completed your year for 2024, and you wanna move your forecast forward to project out one more year, you can keep the values in the same actual months and then select your new starting date and it will move through the forecast data to January 2025's data and the 2024 data that was entered in the forecast will be removed to make space for the new blank year at the end of your forecast, which will allow you to continue doing your growth projections. Uh, I think, are there any other questions? So how will changing my start date affect all of my forecast scenarios? If you are a live plan premium user, that means that you have access to the multiple forecast scenarios, which is great because that allows you to have a forecast kind of for best case, worst case, an average scenario for what you might expect from your business. Um, when you change the forecast starting date, that will adjust the forecast starting date 
for all of the scenarios in that business. So you can't have a different forecast starting date for each scenario. They're all going to be the same. So if you wind up going through to adjust your forecast starting date, just make sure that that lines up with all of your scenarios and the data that you have there. I think that mostly covers the frequently asked questions about the forecast starting date and how to change it. If you find that you have more questions, uh, me and the customer advocacy team can be found um, through the handy little blue support question mark button. If you're in the app, we are available in live chats uh, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you can always email us with your questions as well. We are happy to help. Thanks for watching.